Hi there, I'm Jodi G and welcome back to my channel. Today for you, I have an Ulta Beauty haul. Ulta Beauty is one of my favorite places to shop for skincare, makeup, hair care, and basically anything. <laughs> Not only do they have the drugstore brands, but they also have a lot of the high-end brands that you can find at Sephora. While they don't have every single brand that's at Sephora, lately they've been getting a lot of new lines and a lot of indie brands that you don't even see at Sephora. So that's definitely a plus for Ulta. And I love, love, love the Ulta Beauty reward system. I feel like you get so much bang for your buck. Every purchase has a point value. You could also use your points to get money off of a purchase from Ulta, which is something I definitely love and use all the time. Not to mention they always have and just certain themes of the month whether it's buy one get one half off of like the jumbo size hair care. Um, there's just always so many great things happening at Ulta. And if you shop online using Ebates, you can also get cash back. So that's just like an added bonus. Before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. That way you always get a little reminder each and every time I post a new video. First up, I have two of the travel size Too Faced Hangover RX primers. This is a repurchase for me. I love these primers. The reason why I bought two of the travel size ones is because you end up getting more product buying two of these than buying one of the full size and you save $2. So that's been like my new thing, finding like small ways to save money with each of my beauty purchases. I already opened one of them and I just love this primer. It's extremely hydrating. It has hyaluronic acid in it as well as coconut water and it has a pump and it comes out white just like this, like a lotion. And I just use it all over my face and it it's just a great everyday primer. I have normal to dry skin and in the winter time as well as the fall, nothing beats this primer. It's so nourishing, it's so hydrating, and it gets a little tacky, so it does help your makeup stay on longer, though it's not the best for that. If you have large pores, it won't really do much to make them look smaller, but if you have just normal skin, I think, or dry skin, I think this is definitely something to try looking into. And once again, these were $15 each. Next up I have the NYX Angel Veil Primer. This is $15.99 at Ulta, which is extremely expensive. It's more than the travel size of the Too Faced Primer that I just showed you, but it does have 1.02 ounces, whereas each of those have 0.68 ounces. The reason why I picked this up was at the time Ulta had buy one get one 50% off, which is like the only way I would purchase this because I really don't appreciate how drugstore brands are starting to get more and more expensive to the point where the prices are almost equal to that of high end. A lot of people claim that this Angel Veil Primer is a dupe for the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer, which is something I'm really interested to find out. I would love to do maybe a dupes video for you guys, or I don't know, maybe just do a wear test on Battle of the Primers, I don't know, something along those lines. And while it does seem, while this is already my second primer in this video, primer is something that I use every single day when I do my makeup, so I know I will run through them very fast. Next up from Essence, I have these Nail Express Drops. They're supposed to help your nail polish dry faster. It says that it contains almond oil. It had really great reviews from a lot of people. So I am trusting them and I hope that these work because I do my nails myself and I always get like some sort of thumbprint, some sort of hair print, just something always happens to ruin my nails. So if this little baby can come in handy and help me with that problem, like I will, I will be forever grateful. <laughs> Next up from Essence is the Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder for darker skin. This is the packaging. Um, it's so interesting how maybe five years ago I would have said like this packaging looks really cheap and cheesy and like now Kim K has KKW Beauty and the packaging is like this clear acrylic and it's like oh this is so high-end, so fancy. 
but I believe this run this bronzer was about $5.99 um, check down below in the description for any links or the prices I realized that in actually this this color is a little sketch something that's absent from the drugstore is a huge variety in bronzers and I don't feel like anyone really talks about that or addresses that because people like myself I love bronzer I like mm, all over you know and I don't want to have to buy a powder foundation from a drugstore to bronze my face I want the same ability to buy a bronzer just like anyone else so I picked up this bronzer because it said it was for darker skin but looking at it now I'm not really this is like very this is lighter than my skin tone so I do like the print on the bronzer it is very cute but this is it on my finger and yeah I'm not I'm not really sure who's who this is a bronzer for but it is definitely not for dark skin so this isn't a new product but I've been exploring more and more with drugstore brands just because I just love a great blush. I feel like blush is something that could really just pull your look in together. It's what marries like your highlight with your bronzer. It gives you like that little flush of rosiness. So I'm really excited to try this out. I'm really excited about the last two colors. The color in the middle, I feel like I can make it work maybe with just like a stippling brush so that it's not like very light on my cheeks. I do like that there's a highlighter here the highlighter is not the highlighter is nice and it does seem to blend out pretty well um, I know a lot of I know it seems like it's too light for someone of my skin tone but I never let that deter me from trying out a highlighter because even though it is light maybe it's not something for my cheeks maybe it's a color that I could just use on my nose under my brow bone in my inner corner on my chin um, I am that extra that I will use two or three different highlights just to make sure that I get the most out of my collection because I am not spending all this money on makeup to not use it <laughs> so I picked up this as well as the Master Bronze Kit as well because once again I did want to try out drugstore bronzers but I swatched this one already and this first this kit these two are highlighters and these two are bronzers this one is more of a shimmery bronzer but I had more hope in these than I did for the essence bronzer since these just look darker in the pan but um these seem pretty light as well and I feel like if I use them on my face it's just going to be very muddy two highlighters in here one is more of a champagne one is more of a true gold the champagne one swatched really well this gold one was really powdery and it kind of just crumbled so that's just a little concerning um, I hope to do like a Ulta follow-up for you guys so that you guys can know what I think about these products or if not just post something on my Instagram about each of these products and since we're talking about my Instagram you might as well add me it is Jody G Beauty the same as my YouTube channel at Ulta Beauty Maybelline was buy one get one 50% and so I took advantage of that opportunity to pick up these two Maybelline concealers. One is the Master Conceal in the color 50, which is medium deep. And the other one is the Better Skin Concealer, and this is also in 50 medium deep. This one describes itself as a camouflaging concealer, whereas this one is a concealer and corrector. I do like the Better Skin face powder. I carry that in my bag with me every day for touch-ups on the go. So I'm interested in seeing what the concealer is like 
and the Master Conceal, I picked it up because the packaging kind of reminds me of one of my first high-end concealers that I purchased, which is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Camouflage Concealer. It, um, I don't know if that's the exact name, I'll link it down below, but the packaging is very similar. So I wanted to know if they perform the same, and I don't really see many people that look like me really raving about these concealers so I want to try that out for you guys and I love a good concealer concealer is my life Ugh. so yeah next up from Catrice which is another affordable brand I picked up this powder highlighter in the color Mary Cherry Blossom it was described online as like a pinkish highlighter but as you can see it's really light in the pan it's so light like uh but once again it has that similar acrylic packaging i love the pattern on it it's just a hexagonal print all over but this seems like a very subtle glow this product is for those that like a very subtle glow um i feel like you have to be like extremely fair skinned to really pull off this highlighter so once again another product I regret buying but nevertheless I'm sure I do have a friend or someone that I can give these products to that will enjoy it but this for me I should have I should have definitely done a little bit more research before buying <laughs> these products I purchased online at the Ulta Beauty website this product unfortunately came damaged so it is a Catrice Liquid Metal Eyeshadow in the color Satina Vanderwoodsen, and I, I had to just pick it up because of the name, because I loved Gossip Girl. I loved the books more than I liked the television series, though that was okay, but I saw the name and I, I just bought it. It was completely impulsive, probably don't even need this, but I also wanted to see if I could use it as a highlighter. Prior to it getting smashed and me having to put it back together using alcohol, um, it had like that wave print, kind of similar to the Kiko Milano water eyeshadows. So this looks like a nice champagne shadow. Oh, maybe I should. <laughs> nice champagne shadow. Um, I'm just going to swatch it right here. Oh yeah, that's nice. I actually really like that, wow. Because I feel like it's nice and subtle and it's like... And this today for me is like subtle, so... It's just like an idea of what I think a subtle glow is. From Maybelline I picked up this Brow Precise in the color Deep. It's a concealer that you're supposed to use to highlight underneath your brows and it's supposed to help conceal any like stray hairs that you may have. I thought it was a really cool concept because it's kind of like a lipstick where you just like kind of twist up and down to get more or less product and I figured like the shape like would be really great to just get underneath the brow there but I'm a little concerned with how it'll do over time or like do I have to use this and a brush to clean up my brows because then that kind of defeats the whole purpose of why I purchased this but I really like the concept of it and ooh, it is extremely creamy that's it right there like wow and yeah like can I blend this out also and use it as eyeshadow primer like I don't know but I'm really excited about this and I haven't really heard anyone talk about it so hopefully it's you know like one of those like hidden gems next up from essence I picked up this super precise eyeliner it's a liquid eyeliner I believe this was either $1.99 or $2.99 but I'll have that information linked down below just because I like these little ink pots with like the brush tip applicator these are my favorite kind of eyeliners to use I just like like just for my wings I feel like they give me the most control I usually pick up an eyeliner from NYX that comes in very similar packaging to this one so I wanted to know like is this similar and, and it's also cheaper so could I be saving more money that way so let's see From what I 
could see this eyeliner is a little more liquidy than I like and it's also not as black as I'd like so a lot of products I'm not really liking so far. After eyeliners that come in packaging like this, my second favorite type of eyeliners are the ones kind of like the Kat Von D Trooper liner, that kind of felt tip marker. I saw this Maybelline Curvitude liquid eyeliner that has a felt tip, but it kind of has a curve, which is supposed to make it easier for you to do your liner. So, let's see. <laughs> Ulta haul, the next product that I picked up was the Essence Make Me Brow. I've never tried a tinted brow product before. I usually just use clear eyebrow gel. So I got the color 2 Brownie Brows. I'm a little concerned about the color because the tube is like an ash brown, so I hope that it just kind of blends in with my eyebrow hairs. Um, but only time will tell. Next up in my Ulta haul, I picked up two of these Essence Metallic Blushes. Um, I just thought the packaging on these were like really, really cute. And aside from that, like metal blushes, like what does that even mean? Like, is it a highlighter? This first color, like, I, I just love it. It is number 10, my name is, my name is Gold. Rosé Gold. And I love rose gold. This looks more on the gold side than I would say like the rose side. But I am so interested in seeing what this looks like. Um, if I could find it anywhere to swatch it. Oh my god. This is it right here. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. We gotta do that again. Like, that's it, right here. That is a beautiful gold. There's nothing rose about it, I will say that. But this color is so similar to ABH So Hollywood or the Makeup Forever Pro Fusion. Wow, like, wow, wow, okay. The second color that I picked up was number 30, the Beauty and the Bronze. This is definitely more of a blush, or you could use it as a blush topper. I'm just so excited to use these. I don't know, I'm like going through a thing with like blush, kind of, I think. But uh, I go through too many phases that like I'm going to be so broke if I stay committed to them. So we're nearing the end of this Ulta haul. And one product that I've been waiting and dying to try is this Morphe Continuous Mist Setting Spray. Just because... One of my biggest gripes with setting sprays is don't make one if you can't make it with a fine mist. Like, I do not want little droplets all over my face. I just cannot deal with that. And I like when a... I love when a setting spray can make the powders in your face, like, just, like, melt in and just look like skin. I don't want to see, like, the stripe of my highlighter. And I've seen so many videos featuring this, and now I finally have my own, and I can... Ooh. Ooh. That was great. <sighs> I'm not sure if I see a difference right now, but the way that I missed it is every... Every setting spray needs to have a mist like this. I'm not really sure what this is doing for the environment since it's in an aerosol can, but if we could find a way to replicate this pump on other things, like, life would be so much better. I did pick up one skincare item in this haul, and this is the Soap and Glory Vitamin C Facial Wash. Um, it has these, like, little small beads in it, these pink little beads that are supposed to help clean and purify your skin. I've seen this all the time. I pass it all the time and I am in the need 
And I am in need for a new facial cleanser because I just finished the Soap and Glory Foaming Cleanser, which I really loved. It did, it was just great for my skin for an everyday cleanser. So I'm just interested, I'm more interested in Soap and Glory and trying more things from their line and finding out what's good, what's better, what sucks. So, 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 so excited to try this. From Wet n Wild for $4.99, I picked up this Not A Basic Peach palette. There is that pop of color there with that turquoise, and overall, it reminds me of a small version of the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette, as well as, back in the day, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Maya Mia palette. I don't know if anyone remembers that, but that was a great palette, and it was one of my favorites, and the colors in this are just so wonderful, and... I love it. I mean, this tra this transition color right here, this orangey shade, this as a base color. I feel like I could create like so many nice warm looks with this palette. I'm so excited. And for $4.99, what? A high-end item that I picked up from Ulta during this shopping trip was a NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. They added a few in-between shades in their already extensive color range of concealers and usually I would, it depends on what's available, sometimes I would pick up Amand or Caramel, but I always felt that Caramel was a little too light for me, that when I would put a banana powder I would still see like a little bit of darkness peeking through, and then Amand, um, it was kind of close to my skin tone, but I felt like there was like a little bit of olive in it, and I didn't feel like it really highlighted my under eyes the way I like them to be highlighted. So I was so excited to see that they came out with this color Walnut, which is color 2.6. Oh, Walnut Medium Dark 2.6, and it is like the perfect color concealer for me. I love these like medium dark concealers with golden undertones. Like, I haven't had a radiant creamy concealer in a while and I just wanted to remember the magic that it is. So oh, like look at, like I just love it because it is while the color looks really crazy there it blends out like a dream. I feel like I don't have to rush to set it really quick before it starts creasing. I love this concealer, but I do say you have to make sure that you take care of your under eyes if you are going to use this concealer. And by that I mean using an under eye cream because it can be a little drying and I, I have dry skin. So just making sure my skin is hydrated is just so important to me. And I'm so excited that I picked up this concealer because I haven't had it in a while. And right now I'm alternating through a lot of affordable slash drugstore concealers. So it would be nice to have like a high-end one to like, I don't know, feel a little bougie. Last but not least, I picked up the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. This is the false lash effect one. I've heard so many amazing things about this mascara that I wanted to try it for myself and it was sold out for a while also so um okay wow it has like a very conical tip I don't have a mascara right now and I did that purposely because I want to see what this is all about So this eye has mascara and this eye does not have mascara and first of all wow at like the difference that mascara can make in your life and um yeah let's zoom in. Well, that is it for my Ulta Beauty haul. Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. 
and hit the little notification bell. You can also follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Jody G Beauty. All product details as well as my contact information will be listed down below. Thank you and see you next time.